All right, so John asked, will extension support be available on the phone tablet side? Well, let me take Jonathan's question as well, which is when will extension support be available? So, now, what do they mean by extension support? Yeah, absolutely. So um, one of the things that we, we that Joe showed off yesterday in the demo was we we're starting to work on support for extensions. And this means the ability to add you know, additional functionality to the browser for you know, like a lot of people who use Reddit, for example, really love the Reddit enhancement suite. Um, or uh, we worked with our Microsoft Translate team. They built a translation extension that you know automatically translates the content in your page. Or we worked with the Pinterest team, and they have an extension that basically lets you pin the, the images on your page. Got it. Actually, you know, I don't know for a, it's behind us. Right? All right, here we go. Yeah. So this is a you know I could pin this you know directly to my uh, you know my board uh, on Pinterest. So these extensions are all. Um, you know, built as an HTML and JavaScript. And we started working on this, and it won't be available when we RTM uh, this, this summer. Right. But uh, we you know, we started working on it. We'll have sort of an insider preview available shortly after RTM for people to start working with. So, you know, that's our, we don't have an exact date for when we will actually go to production, but we started working on it, and we gave people a little view of it yesterday. So extensions are important, <laughs> and we're, we're definitely putting that in the roadmap for the future. It's in the roadmap, and we really wanted, because it's actually one of the things that have come up many, many times, like, I want extensions. I want my RES. I want my ad block. I want, you know, these kinds of stuff. Probably things. at the top of our feedback list. Yes, it's I, I think it actually is the number one. Yep. Uh, user voice other than keep that old name, um, yeah. <laughs> which is the other I, one I, that I we had. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Know. Um, that's because people didn't know what the new name was. Right. Now right. they now know. We're, that's, we're on the edge, we're people. On the edge. Let's exactly. do it. So John asked, um, how much of it? Uh, there was a question about mobile. So right. we actually do want to bring to mobile as well. Now it's on the roadmap. It's probably we'll do the desktop first and then mobile after that. But so, we but, do but think because it's a win universal Windows app, it should. <clears throat> yeah. So the core tech will work. It's just the mobile devices have slightly different needs. Got They're, it. You know, low battery. There is sort of, of an course. expectation. Like, you know, this this thing can handle having us just extension sort of sitting in the background doing right. things. Some of the smaller devices can't. So we have to do more work around making sure that the extensions can be more, they, they can be shut down cleanly automatically if they're, if they're not in use. So there's a little bit more extensions work. Extensions can also put in buttons into the UI, which is right. a little harder when you've got a four inch screen. Yeah. yeah. And so you're, what you're saying is, yeah, we can make it go over, but we need to start making a little bit the experience make it a little great. bit better on the yeah. device. On that device. And that is actually true of all the universal Windows platform. That has been our, our philosophy. The core is the same, but you really want to tailor to the device type Got right? It. and make sure that you know it really fits into that device. Not one experience everywhere. It's one core everywhere and then you know tailor the user experience for the different device. Got it.